her thing too She's much. She's popping her thing too much. It's what I'm doing. Pop my day. Are these babies yours? They better be. DNA test results for both. Morales, Michael Sr. Right now. Thanks for coming and thanks for watching. When it comes to DNA disputes, we tend to think of fathers who deny paternity, but what if you thought you were the dad and you want to be the dad, but all of a sudden you may not be the dad? Please welcome Michael to the show. Michael, how you doing? Good to see you, man. All right. Let's get this straight at the top. For the last 17 years, you've been wondering if you're the dad, but where have you been for most of those 17 years? been in prison. Prison? Yes. And you got out about a month ago? A month and a half. How do you like the freedom? Beautiful. You go from a prison cell to the Bill Cunningham show in 45 days. <laughs> That's not bad. Now, let's go back in time. <laughs> Talk about Charlene and the difficulty uh, and the questions that you have. Uh, years ago, I was dating a young lady, Charlene, and uh, she brought to my attention that she was pregnant. Uh, and you were you were in jail at that point. Yes, and I was I was out when she first got pregnant. You were in jail. You got out for a little bit, kind of waiting, and then you went back to jail for a very long time. Correct. And you were real excited about being a brand new dad. Absolutely, absolutely. Tell me your feelings about that. About when you learned. Well, that. for me, it was my first child. It, it would have been my first child. So for me, that was a bundle of joy. At the time, I was skeptical, so I questioned her. We wasn't in an exclusive relationship, but we was dealing with one another. Right. I was already in a prior relationship, but when she told me she was pregnant, I wanted to make sure that I was the father. So ultimately, you were in jail, and you got some papers to sign indicating that you, Michael Sr., you were the father of Michael Jr., and you signed the, the birth certificates. Uh, yes. And she she would bring the child to prison, and you saw you saw Michael Jr. Yes, yes. Could absolutely. you hold him or not? Could you, yes, yes. You actually held him. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. so for a long time, in fact, here's a picture going back in time. This kind of old school going back in time, and, and you spent a long time, many many years in jail, thinking you were in fact the father of that child. But Absolutely. then a triggering event happened when you found out you might not be the father. What happened then? That's when things took a little turn. I received a letter after the child was approximately two years. She was not certain. It was Did another she say gentleman. you were not the father or she's uncertain whether you were the father? No. She was certain I was and then she was certain I wasn't. I said a few things, call her out of character. Yeah. Uh... It's, it's, it's not something I was proud of, but it did take a place. Yeah, you were dealing with a lot of other issues other than this, but as a man, as a father, you, you believed you had a baby boy, you signed the birth certificate, then she sent you a letter saying you weren't the baby daddy, and you spent years trying to resolve it, then you finally get out. And how long has it been since you've seen Charlene, other than that one meeting? You just, once in the last 17 or 18 years? Twice. Twice. Today's the day. Please welcome Michael's ex-girlfriend and maybe baby mama, Charlene, to the show. Come on out, Charlene. First of all, I want to say you're lying. Because that's not how the show went. That's not how it went, okay? At the end of the day, me and you was in a relationship, okay? And you know that. When you brought the girl to my mother's house for your jacket, I said, I got something for you. I called the facility, and I told you what it was. I told you Michael was not just... Your son. At the end of the day, I was 24 years old. I'm 45 years old. I ain't got time for it. You came to my house looking for me. We didn't come looking for you, Ike. Okay? At I the end of the day, Michael, house. I did not come looking for you. Don't say you called me out my character because you did not do none of that. You did not call me and say none of that. Yes, I know what I did was wrong to you, but you did not call me out of no character. So why are you sitting here on national TV lying? Tell us what you what did. Show, what okay? show is she listening when to? I, what changed? Bill, actually, I called him and I told him that I did something. When we young, we do stupid things, okay? I'm old, I, I do I stupid know, things. It I happens. knew he was cheating already, so when he had the girl come to my house... Can I ask you a question? Yes, you can. You said I was cheating? Yeah, like you said, you was already in a private relationship, so at the end of the day, I choose to sleep with you. I was so cheating you, with you, though. 
with the you just said on the Tanesh TV you was with the girl also. Right. So that's what but I'm talking I didn't, about. I didn't when she came you? to my house, when she came to my house, no, that's what I said I had something to tell Did you tell him he was the baby daddy? Yes, I did. Hey, he signed the birth certificate. He signed the birth certificate, and what should I know was a wrong thing to do. My son got Why'd you get him to do that? Okay, first of all, at the end of the day, I have with two men, okay? And two I knew, men. But I knew and you named my baby. I knew who was my son's father, okay? You knew that. Right, I knew that, but I signed... Michael my, Jr., you named the baby. Yes, he signed the birth certificate, and I had another one with my other son name on there. When my son went to go get... Let me ask you a question. Yes, you can. Please. You just said that I was cheating. You cheating? I was cheating Where with was you. It? That's 20 you years ago. You had the girl, Rachel, you was also cheating. That's what made me go on my revenge thing to you. What? Well, I was and my in son a relationship. was not two years old when I told you that he was in your son. My son was six months. Let's get it together. When I called the facility, Charlie, this and is twenty years ago, back. though. Let's move forward. Twenty years. Who know who was cheating twenty years ago? Right. But we're here today to find out who is the baby right. daddy. Not, not so much the baby daddy, but the father of a twenty-one year old. Yeah, that's a okay, question. Right, I'm looking for yeah, him. go ahead, Michael Senior. Go ahead. All right. So if you just told Bill that you knew who the father was. Why did you send me the Because paperwork? I just said, I just said, didn't you just hear what I just said? I just said that at the time I was 24 years old, I did a lot of stupid stuff and maybe on a revenge because when I found out you was dealing with the girl, revenge Rachel. Revenge what? It doesn't matter what the revenge was about. It's, it's, I didn't, look. You took the baby to prison I, I to say, here's your son. Yes, I did, Bill, and, and what's the You were 24. That's okay. not 14. That's right. 24. I, and I know what I was doing. And at the end of the day, I did something stupid. All right. So that's why we're here to hear you? it up today. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead, yes, Michael. You, can. you just sat here and told me right now that you knew who the father was. So why name him? Why name the baby after uh, me? That's why we on the show. At the end of the day, he the could end, be the father. But let me tell you something. I know he's not the father. You know? How okay. do you know that? Because I know that oh. he still had a doubt in his mind or a belief that Michael. I don't Michael's... believe that. I believe that he he probably thought when he came home that I ain't have nobody. He still thought that he was going to come he home he could move in. and be in with me. And he, he wanted son. my son to be so bad. His son, but. He's not. Son's 21 now, and the son's right. here. I mean, she, yeah. had a, she had a two minutes of fame. She got that. I ain't in. got no two minutes. I'm right. not now, here listen, for two minutes. Let me ask you a question. We trying to do it the right way. How did you Why? feel when he was on your doorstep after 17 I years? I feel no kind of way, because at the end of the day, have I any feelings for him anymore? Anyway. No, I don't. Because you're engaged to another man right now, and the other man's here too. Yes. You're engaged, right? Yes, and he know too. He knows. Yeah, I told him that when we first got Does together. Does he ever concern you two might get back together? No. No, I told him he ain't even there with me and him. Not even I don't there. look at him like that. What's done is done. The past is over. What, what happened? Michael Sr., what if you find out today that Michael Jr. is not your son? Well, this is, I know one thing. Only she knows, only she knows all the answers. She knows all the answers. So, this little revenge, mind game. That's Name a heck of a mind game to play on the man. That was so long Back ago. That's were, when we were listen, like 24. Shalene, at the end of the day, Shalene, it doesn't matter. Shalene, it's not like you did anything for my son. Shalene, you were in touch Shalene, with him. Another action. You took his collect telephone I calls. I even told your family. Shalene. Shalene. What? Shalene. You're talking to me. No, I am talking to you because Shalene, I don't like listen, how you come out. Shalene. Listen. Do you really want me to put you on blast? Yeah, please. Okay, when you came please. home, please. you came and, and you you came knocked on my door and you was like, oh, Charlene, I want to talk to you, whatever. You was asking me to come to my house so you and everything. Excuse my expression. You wanted to get back with me. And I said, you I wanted relationships. relations with you after I 17 told you that. years. And, to this, and my, my fiance don't know, but he'll know right now. He's going to find you out. You didn't ask me that? The yes, next okay, is the okay, stepdad so and the son are real. Next day, right there. No. <laughs> new accusation. Why would you come and say that you wanted to make love to her when you already knew that she had a man? Ignites this DNA drama. So wait, don't do what I did. Now let wait, me tell you what she did. Oh, wait a minute. I know when you came to my house, I never made no pass at you. You made the pass at me. You lied. Don't miss the results. we got to find out today. Every person has a right to know. Charlene, what's in your heart? Heart? The man named Michael assists that I'm his son. But I already know who my biological father is, and I feel Michael is wasting his time. Bill, I need these results because we need this man to leave us alone. Today's about DNA and daddies. We're going to bring on Alan, who's your fiance, and Michael Jr. in a moment. If you could go back in time, whatever it is, would you want Michael Jr. to in fact be your son? Listen, I, I don't, I didn't, I didn't really sit around and build up uh, an emotion for that. 
But before we even get to that point, let me just go back to the beginning of, of this whole situation when I was dating this young lady. I saved her from an abusive relationship. What, Bruce? I ain't never had no man touch me. You was a guy. You know right. what? Let's I, do this, Michael. We cannot go back in time. In his life. Well, Please well, welcome you know Charlene's fiance, you. Alan, the show. Alan, come, come on out. When you came to our house, you better not never go here and say that. I don't have to. I've been with him going on for he ain't never put his hands on me. I never put my hands on I never put my hands on When you came to our house, you came, the first day you seen Wifey Wifey, you told her that you was trying to get in touch with her about the DNA. Why would you come and say that you wanted to make love to her when you already knew that she had a man? He was in prison 17 years. She, she wrote him. She wrote him and told. She wrote him and told him that she was in a relationship. So why would he want to even think is is? Juicy. Why was she writing him? I never wrote him. him. Oh, no, on, Except in the collect listen, telephone. I wrote him with my baby. My son was a baby. He wrote me recently. You never wrote him at all. No, never wrote him. No, not one time. No. It's the, it's it's your girl listen, finished talking. This, this is not about this. This is not about. You know, you taking part of the no, story. No, 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 I'm not taking part let of the story. Let her finish the story. First of all, he already knows. This is let her finish. Let me, let me say something. Let her finish. Let me say something. When, she just told you right, what I did. Let her finish. Let me please. Finish. She when told he, you what I did. Now wait, let me tell you listen. what she did. Oh, wait a minute. I've never, you came to my house. I've never made no pass at you. You made the pass at me. I, I never said nothing about. Can I come to your house? Are we going to be honest? No, we're going to be honest. Don't tell us on this show that you're lying. I can take a lie detector. You lie. Hold up, hold Don't up, go there with the me. The other night you called and you told her to come downstairs. What was that about? Because you want to see my face. What you mean, come downstairs? You told her to come downstairs? I would... Other night? The other night. The other day when we you came can... back, no. I when said, you came... said, can you come hold see on. me? Don't, don't, don't twist this. When I asked her to come downstairs, what did I ask you? You, you said, Charlene, can you come downstairs? I said, I got just coming from Walmart. I said, I'm tired. I said, come upstairs. You said, no, I want you to come downstairs so I can see your face. I said, Charlie why do you want to see my face? Do you know how upset I'm going to see your face? Yes, you said, come downstairs because I want to see your face. You said, when I got high, you said, what oh, here you go, acting like Hollywood, right. and then you curse, and that's when he that's grabbed when the phone. That's when I grabbed the phone. That's when I grabbed the phone. That's what I say to you. That's when I grabbed the you phone. You were like, oh, you acting like that's like you I, always call me. That's what I said. Get that off of your ass. Right, okay, and that's when I did. What did I tell you? Hold, 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 Charlene's not son not and maybe Mike or senior right. son. Right. Michael Jr., come on out. Michael Jr. 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 Michael Jr.
that he was maybe told a lie. Can you understand where yeah, he I can is? Understand, Explain that. And that was like vice versa. If I was older, like I would want. Well, did he, did he feel the pain when he, he cheated on me? Talk. Just for a moment, okay. honey. Just for, like, 20 to, years, and we don't care about 20 yeah, years. I want, him to, I want him to hear me up. So when he came home, I heard the out. Listen to what he was saying. Because I wanted to know, I wanted to get both sides of the story. You want it all out. Yeah. And you're getting it, it today yeah. in ways. What is your relationship with your mom's fiance? Well, that's my stepfather. That's, that's basically my my um my, my real father. You're too. close to Alan. Yeah. You love that man. Yeah, of course you love your yeah. mom. Yeah, he, he's, what are he's your feelings toward Michael? Um, I don't have no feelings with him. I respect him. I'm cool with him. After the show, I always say what up with him. You want a relationship with him down the road? No, room? I wouldn't need to. I'm I'm 21. I'm grown, basically grown myself. I have a lot of father figures in my life, so. It's really, and you I got your own babies, right? Yes, I have my own son. This Boy, stuff son. about 20, 25 years ago is interesting, but we got to find out today. Every person has a right to know. Yeah. Charlene, what's in your heart right now? Tell me, Mama. Heard about what? Charlene, what? It ain't that serious. Well, hold on, Charlene. Well, to, to, her, to, hold on, to her, it is serious. Today, Bill. That's Don't tell the woman it's not serious. That's Charlene, what we, that's what we all hear. Hold on, sir. Hold on. She's Charlene, well, why are there tears in your eyes? Because she's been carrying this on her shoulders for too long. Okay. She feel like she hurting me, but she ain't hurting me. She ain't hurting me. Nobody. I never made him see like he was the victim or anything. And my son used to be like, why are you so angry? Like, he never understood until the day he had to go get his ID. And I explained to him, one minute I'd be up, one minute I'd be down, because it was on my shoulder for a long time. And I knew that Michael would come home eventually to get it over with. So when he wrote me that day... He was like, Charlene, I know you want to get your thing clear with him. And I tried to send him the other birth certificate with my son's name on it, but he said it wouldn't get through. There's two it was birth certificates. Not, yes, two birth certificates. He didn't know until you were 16, right? To, yeah. When he to went to get to his Michael. license, there was two birth certificates. And then, and then he says to his mama, Mama, I got two birth certificates. How is that possible? So you had the guilt that you carried for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Until he was 16. I've been to explain to me, but I was young. I, I didn't really want to you hear know, about that. But no. now as I'm getting older, it's you starting care. to affect me a little. So now I really want to know. All right. We have DNA test results in this matter coming up, plus more DNA drama. Stay right there. It's bad enough when you don't like your brother's wife, but it's far worse when she's trying to pin two babies on him that you don't think are his. Please welcome Aretha to the show. Aretha, how you doing? All right. You think your sister-in-law is living a lie with your brother. Please explain. Look, Bill, I'm going to tell you like this, okay? My brother is 58 years old, okay? His wife is 22 years younger than him, okay? 58 and uh, 36. Exactly. He's trying to retire, and she's out there trying to pop her thing. Like, who do that? And every she leave for three months at a time, okay? Yeah. And she come back with babies. Like, who do that? She goes away and comes back with babies. Come back with babies. Like, who do that? What is she doing on those trips? She's popping her thing too she's much. She's popping her thing too much. Exactly. <laughs> and, and so, as I understand, how many total babies does she have? Two. Two. And she claims your brother is the father of both. Exactly. And you have a doubt. A doubt. Who leaves at three months in the time to come back pregnant? What do you guys think? Well, it's possible. It's possible. Yeah, exactly. It's possible. How exactly. does your brother react to this? My brother is very passive, okay? He tries to give her the benefit of the doubt. It's a weird relationship. But I think that this whole thing of dropping it down and picking it up when you want to, and leave, he has the baby's bill. He keeps the keep, keep the kids while she leave at three months at a time, and nobody knows where she Does is. Does he believe the children are his? He have doubt. Now, who wouldn't have doubt? Now, he, she meets men at bus stops. Is that correct? I think everybody... Right, you, so Helen is very fir flirtatious, shall we say? Oh, very much. I, I think it's. I don't know if it's more that she didn't get attention when she was a kid, but she loves attention. Okay, and she just she she's just very flirtatious. Tell very. the story about you two sitting in a park bench and what happened. We took the kids to the park. And as soon as we get out of the car and go back to the park, now the basketball court is way over there. How does you spot us? From over there, beyond me. But he runs over there. He's like, Helen, let me talk to you for a minute. I'm like, who is this? She goes, oh, that's just my ex. That's just my ex. One of my ex. One of my exes. And I'm like, okay, um, why he all beefed up? Why he beefed up? And then he's like, well, why I talk to you? And she's like, okay. I said, well, just talk to him. 
you know, and she was like, but don't be raising your voice to me. Don't be yelling at me. So they were talking down, but he was pointing at her stomach and doing his hand like this. So I'm like, oh, really now? Really? What's that all about? So they got to be his kids. All right, please welcome Aretha's sister-in-law, Helen, to the show. Helen, come on out, Helen. Yeah, Helen, come on out. Let me tell you one thing. You and your whole family need to stay out of business because them are Tyrell's kids. And I'm, we're going to straighten this out today. Have a seat there, Helen. Because I am really tired of the drama. Too much. Too much. What is her? What is her family putting you through, Helen? They build. They put me through hell all the time. All the time, and I'm getting real sick and tired of it. And oh. today, it's going to stop. Is there any doubt Torellis is in fact the father of those two? Any doubt? Is you have no. any doubt? Hundred percent. Who was 100%. that guy in the park? No, 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 no. That was my no. Ex. I begged the dinner. That was my ex, Bill. Bill. Yeah. Yes. Well, what was the conversation about when he's pointing at your uh, stomach there? I was telling him that I am married now, and it was over. It was over when well, I left him. Why would he be pointing him? at your stomach and doing his hand like this? Bill, what was during that this? time, I was pregnant. Of course. And I was out. Maybe with his baby. But that was Maybe just my with ex. his baby. Okay, that's why Torellas bring other women to the house because I don't know what type of dysfunctional relationship y'all got, but it's weird. Okay. So her man is bringing women to whose house? To their house. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Torellas is no. bringing women to your house? Exactly. They play yes, cards, well, they drink, and they just kick it, kick the bobos. Like, okay, but m maybe that's her reason for going out and pop her thing. Do you okay. think Torell's cheating on you a little bit? I'm, I don't. I can't. What about the say, women he brings to your house? It's just his friends. I'm feeling like I'm ready for the results. I'm ready to see what's good. We need to know as a family so we can move forward. I'm gonna be her new bodyguard, best friend. How you doing? Today's about daddy DNA does not lie. Helen, I kind of asked you this. We ended up by saying you're in like an open relationship, but your definition of open may not be our definition of open. Is it okay with you if he cheats with other women as long as you don't know about it? No. Do you cheat with other guys? No, I don't. Doesn't happen. No. I think the thing is that she feels okay with him having women around no, because I it makes not. her feel better about going out for three and four months at a time, what popping a thing and coming back with a baby and saying it's his. No, don't both Where do you pop your I, thing, Helen? Where? Don't both times that I left I was already pregnant. Me yeah. and Torella was going to who? thing. So I oh, left. Oh, yeah, Bill. She leaves the babies at home with him while she goes out and pop a thing and drop a light. I do not go and pop my thing. Is that true, she, Helen? No, that yes, is a lie. I do baby. not go and pop my the thing, so boy. you need to stop your lying. You always leave Please the kids. Please welcome Aretha's no, brother and Helen's baby Torella, baby Torella, daddy, Torella. Torella, come on out. Bye, Terrell. 22 year age difference, right? Now, I'll be 60 years old and 14. Six, months. maybe a little more than 22 years. What is your relationship like with Helen? I met Helen in Milwaukee, Wisconsin at the bus stop January 3rd, 2009. Stop. Shut up. Bus stop. Don't curse. Are you angry? Did you meet her at a bus stop? Yes. All right. She picks up guys at the bus stop, is what your sister is saying. Now, tell me about your relationship with Helen. I met her January 3rd, 09. I married her February 18th, 09. I left and I uh, went to Indianapolis. She called me from Indianapolis. I sent for her. Is, now, this, is your sister interfering she, in this relationship? Yes, everybody does. They don't even like she Helen. She likes the family. Helen, no, Helen, she, Helen, she, Helen she has a problem, okay? But I she still can't even love come over mom's house. Mom won't let her in. The kids need I still goes over there. What you mean yeah. I can't come no, over there? No, you cannot. You are home, yes, I over still there go over there. Because you're, you, I would be uncomfortable, too. Coming over to my husband's family house, know that I be leaving at three or four months at a time. That leaving the kids in the business. business. Everybody get the kids. Does she leave you yourself. for three and four months at a time and come back pregnant? Yeah, me and me and Ali Ellis. Yeah, she yeah she did it she both times. Both babies. I need to know if they're my kids because exactly. it is. That's the point of the show. Exactly. You want to know if those kids are yours, right? You have exactly. adapted. Here, here's a picture of one of them. Four month old. Beautiful. Yeah, that's Virginia. Virginia, beautiful. The love of my life. Is that your child? 
I you need, need to know. I need to know. I need Helen, to know. Helen, why do you disappear for months I, at a I time from your know. husband? We've been going through no. things, so I, I, I got to ask the audience. Is Any, it normal for anybody to leave? Uh, how you going to ask them people? I'm going to three or four uh, months at a time. I'm just asking. Y'all don't really know the whole hey, deal. That, well, that's the thing. Right. Y'all don't know the whole deal. The whole deal. The whole really? The thing about it is this. Okay. Really? I lay here, I call the police twice. Exactly. They pick Make up and salute her. They, they, can't they find got it. your over here and down and salute her. Exactly. Carolina sent you back to me with Ali Ellis. Exactly. The second time you left me in the baby, when I called the Waukegan police behavior. and found you down in Atlanta, and Georgia, and, and she's got a beautiful, I give her a beautiful home. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey, you know you what? The divorce, is, the, 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 the divorce really? is here. I need another woman. Help me take care of my kids. So, baby, we get home, it's on. What about them the females? Divorce, it don't matter. Yeah, I, are I, these I, babies I, yours? They better be. What if they're not? They still mine. You're going back to the bus stop to find another man. That's yeah. what happened. Yeah. Take care. Take care. Take care. And then another thing, the divorce is the divorce. divorce. Baby, I forgot to tell you. I'm gonna divorce you soon. We get home. Well, Don't worry, I already had that planned okay, well, up. That's oh, good, but you can have the money from the lawsuit. It doesn't matter. Mm -mm. You keep the house. Mm -mm. I mean the house. I just well, want my what if you are the baby daddy? daddy? What if you are? I'm still taking uh, the kids. Still You're taking the kids divorce. anyway. We still get divorced. Divorce. 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 DNA divorce. test results in all the cases coming up. Stay right there. <laughs> Love watching from your couch? Wait until you see us live. If you're going to be in the New York City area and want free tickets to see a taping of the show, go to our... One of the best things we can do on this show is help a child, even a grown child, find out who his father is. We're going to do that right now. DNA test results for both. All right, hold on. All right, we're going to come this way first. Torellis. Yes, sir. You have a four-year-old boy and a four-month-old girl. The love of my life. The love of your life. And your sister believes that uh, you're not the baby daddy of either. She ain't no the only one. All the family. No. And all of your family. All the family. They're believe. after her constantly, after Helen. Right. Right. What do you want to happen? You can't make it happen. What do you want to happen? I want them to honestly. Drop a bike off at the bus stop. Which... <laughs> what do you want? Maybe, maybe your family needs to stay out of this relationship a little bit. Would that help? They do. Would that help you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when it comes to the paternity of four-year-old Eileen Ellis, you are the baby dad. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -uh. Ain't none of that. No question. Bye. Bye. 99.999999. Hey! That's your point. And why is that important to you? Because it is very important. Because now I, what? I need one oh more. Oh my goodness. I have 20 kids and I need to know if all y'all, I'm really mad. I'll be 60 in 14 months. Mama's baby, daddy's maybe. Yes. How many, I got 43 how many babies? You got 20? And five great grands. And I need to know if all these kids are mine before I die. And I'm starting at the bottom, working to the top. Well. Now, how many baby mamas do you have? Oh, my goodness. I just How can't. many, Helen, was it? How many baby mamas? Oh, oh my God. I can't count. Can't oh count. Oh, my goodness. 20. No, 20. Oh 17. Goodness. 17, 17. 17. 17 and 20. 17 and 20. All right. Oh my 17 goodness. 17 baby mamas and 20 babies. Yeah, and I need DNA tests for all of them. All right, you got them. All right, let's go on. Are you ready That's now? Why he's trying to retire. When it yeah, comes yeah, to maternity, a four he month old Virginia. Retire. Hold on, Torellis. When yeah, it comes. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to the maternity, a four month old Virginia. You are the baby dad. <laughs> When you going out there dropping it like it's hot and picking it up, I'm gonna be with you. Hold on, forget Helen. it, forget it, forget it. No. I'm sorry, Helen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Helen. You got a lot of apologizing to do. A lot of apologizing. 
It's, it's unusual. That's your niece and your nephew. Yeah. You've been oh, denying them. Where my babies? Where my babies? Where my kids? I want my, I want my kids. That's why. Where my son, my daughter? Now, he, he all down for the Lord. Where my kids? 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 Where
Uh uh. If you're on the inside, you can look out. But y'all don't even know what's going on. But all my family members, sisters and brothers, and all them kids are supposed to be mad. I need DNA for everybody, and I want it. I'm asking for it on national television. We got 17 baby mamas and 20 kids out there. Now, Ish, turn to your left because yes, this sir. story is so dramatic that this it man is. spent months, if not years, in jail thinking he had his baby boy waiting and then he signed the birth certificate a second birth certificate yeah. and the son didn't know until he turned like 16 years old until there was yeah. two birth certificates to get his driver's license where does this family go from here that's a lot of drama i'm going to start with michael senior listen 17 years i can't imagine what that's like and big respect to you for coming out here and wanting to get your affairs in order but you got to do it in a way that doesn't disrupt everybody's life and it sounds like you've tried to be respectful about it okay now michael's junior you're 21 years now and you said, Michael Jr. Michael Willis. And, and, uh, Michael Willis. His, everything on his ID no, is Michael, Michael Willis. Willis. So, I'm just saying. And so now, Michael Sr., are you ready to move forward? Now, you, now you've got your answer. Are you ready to move forward with your life as it, as it has been for this next month and, and a half? Do you three want him involved in your lives Absolute, at all? No. 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 Michael no. Sr., it's time to get a new life. And you Absolute. hear that? They, they say that they're done, cut ties and run. Okay? Done. Now, Charlene. Mm-hmm. My dear. Yes. We've all been young and dumb. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, I'm old and I'm still kind of dumb. I know. So, but you heard that saying, the only thing worse than being a young fool is an old fool. Mm-hmm. And so now you, you come out here, you, you put it all on the plate, and now you got some answers. My one question for you was, you seem so upset with the whole cheating thing from 20 years ago. I wonder if there's still not something there for you. There's nothing there. At the end of that, I was just trying to explain my story, the reason why I did what I did. Mm-hmm. That's what it was about. It was nothing to have anything to do with me and him. Okay. He never wrote me no letters to try to make no pass at me. I never wrote him back. I never threw him under the bus to say he said anything until recently was something me and him was just talking about. Mm-hmm. We never had no beef, no nothing. When he wrote me, he asked me about what was going on. He'd do anything to help my son. We mm-hmm. never had no type of problem anything. So at the end of the day, I don't know when I was behind the stage and he was saying how he called me out of my character. He said all this stuff. He never one time talked to me like that. And that's why I was look, li- listening like I came out angry like I was because you Very never angry. came out Very like angry. that to me. And, and so to come out and say you called she, me out of character, she, she's gonna we see. had a good relationship. We had a she's cool relationship until I found right. out what you was doing to so, me. And here's the thing. you know, we, we all have our choices we make and we all have our emotions. You got a right to those things, but you don't have a right to let those emotions those tra- those and those choices mess up everybody else's life but that's when what she was behind the, the curtain right. when she was behind the curtain mm-hmm. and she said what she thought she heard when she see this show it she's going to realize she made another mistake right. yep. well let's see what happens when we continue with the bottom dollar. line for more info go to the website bill cunningham show.com <laughs> want to take a peek behind the cameras and follow me on twitter Like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, or follow me on Instagram, because you don't want to miss a minute of the backstage drama. It's unedited, unfiltered, and unbelievable. It's time for you to take control and give my guests some tough love. How would you resolve the issue? Should Helen stay with Torellis or raise her two kids without his family's interference? Call me with your answer to 1-855-TELL-BILL. You hear what other viewers answered and receive some valuable offers. Take control and call 1-855-TELL-BILL right now. When it comes to DNA doubt, here's the bottom line. A mother has a foolproof way of knowing who her baby is. It's called childbirth, but a father can never be sure. So do your future child a favor and avoid a DNA dilemma. Pick a mate you can trust and stick with them. Believe me, your future child will thank you. I want to thank all my guests for coming in, and I'll see you the next time. I really do because y'all don't know. Fight my family. Carry people talking about the nature of kids and all this, that, and the other. But they all owe an apology. Yes. And they need to get on their knees and beg her to forgive yes. the whole family. 
whole family. Hell, and I no apologize to you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. These are my nieces and nephews, and they will be loved, and they will be embraced, and they will be treated like family because they are.